which age of comics is best for policemen? Well, that would be the Copper Age. Ah, Golden Age Key and Cats are next. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And I've got a Golden Age book for you. And this is one of those books that I actually, not this specific book, but back in 2015 on my original channel, a bunch of channels did their wish lists. And on my 2015 wish list was a specific type of comic book from the Golden Age era. Um, I wanted something like from Captain America, which I have shown before. And this was one I have definitely wanted to get for a long time. And as, like I said, this was on my 2015 wish list. So you could see that this took a little while to acquire. And this was a newly listed comic that when I saw the price, I had to pounce on it. So as soon as I saw it, I picked it up. Now, to be honest, I don't even know what this comic is worth because I can't find anywhere where there's a price for this book. It's a very early age, uh, golden age comic. And um, there's potential rumors that this character may eventually be in a Marvel movie. So I'm sure at this point you have a guess of what it might be. And uh, let's just show it. So before I do, though, make sure you wait until the end so you can see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. If you want one, you just got to ask for one and be a subscriber. And uh, I will be more than happy to do that for you. So here we go. I, I, this cover is absolutely amazing to me. This is Submariner. Issue number six, which I believe either came out in 1941 or 1942. This has an Alex Schromberg cover, and this was back in the days of Stan Lee's beginning work. Now, this wasn't his first or anything like that, and um, they couldn't confirm if Stan Lee did this editing in this one at all. Because I looked on GoCollect.com, and they said, uh, Stan Lee question mark. So I wonder if anybody has any information on this, because I know some of my subscribers are a heck of a lot smarter than I am, uh, if they could let me know of any information. Now, this does have a detached cover, but I don't mind that at all. I mean, look, I mean, considering this book is older than my father, which um, he passed away in 2012, I mean, this cover, I mean, it's, it's dirty, but I don't care about that because, I mean, to me, a book from this age should be a little dirty, should look worn. But if you look at this cover, the colors are absolutely beautiful. I mean, I have Bronze Age books that don't look this nice. Now, because it has a detached cover, the absolute highest grade it could get is a 3.0. Um, I don't know if it'll make that. It does have a color break here. I will have to look at the whole book, but I don't care. This is definitely a book that's going to get graded, and um, just the colors are absolutely beautiful. Uh, the person selling it said um, it doesn't have any color touches or anything like that. This is the original cover. Just absolutely beautiful. Uh, again, this is either 1941 or 1942, obviously, with the images that is World War II. and. Um, with the rumors of, well, they have confirmed, they did say, Kevin Feige did say that they have plans for the Submariner to be in a Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. Now, whether that means a solo movie or a cameo or a, you know, a part in one of the other movies remains to be seen. But, you know, as soon as they mention this character to be in a movie, once it's confirmed... You know what's going to happen. Everybody's all of a sudden going to buy up all the Submariner comics. Now, I've been telling people about this for years to stock up, especially like, for example, the Silver Age um, Submariner number one, because his early appearances are expensive. Now, I've seen, like, I've been researching a lot of Submariner Golden Age books because I was just fascinated. I wanted to get either a Submariner 
a Human Torch, uh, some of the DC characters. I mean, as of now, I have a Captain America Golden Age. I have now a Submariner Golden Age. I have Batman, Superman, Green Lantern, Flash. Um, who else? Or a Golden Age Wonder Woman. So I have a lot of their their books. I would love to get a Human Torch at one point. But these Submariner books, especially like I've seen from like 20, issue 20 to like in the 50s, I've seen them sell for 800 to $3,000. Now, obviously, it depends on the grade. But this was a newly listed book. They were selling it, buy it now, for $495.95. And to me, this was a no-brainer to pick this up. Um, I would love to know what you think about this. And if, Reggie, if you're watching, hopefully this tempts you to start looking into um, Golden Age books. Because, uh, you know, there's not all Golden Books of DC. Golden Age books of DC, and we know that you don't love DC much. And that's okay. You're allowed to have a preference. But uh, Submariner, now Marvel property. I believe this is Timely Comics. But uh, just the history of this is absolutely amazing. I just I, I just love the condition. The fact that it's basically complete is amazing. Um, I will take a look at it, you know, when I uh, open it up and see, make sure everything's intact. But for under $500 for a book from the 1940s, issue number six of Submariner Comics... Um, I couldn't pass this up. So I'd love to know what your opinion is. So uh, if you want to leave a comment, that's great. If you want to give it a thumbs up to show your support, I always appreciate that. Hopefully this will inspire other people to say, you know what, now's the time to get these books while they're still affordable. Now, there's nothing majorly key in this book. I just love the fact that it's an early Submariner book. Uh, this could be potentially early um, Stan Lee editing at this point. And uh, who knows, maybe it'll become something, maybe it's a val very valuable book that somebody didn't know what they had. I guess I'll find out. But even if it's not, I cannot wait to get this graded and add it to my collection. So beautiful artwork. Um, love to know and hear your thoughts. Wait until the end to see who's today's subscriber shout out. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. And I always appreciate you guys watching. And... You ever notice he's always above water in a lot of these comics? Some Submariner he is. Hey everybody, thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to connect with me on Facebook, you can click right here. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, you could click right here. If you'd like to get 2% cash back on your comic book purchases off of eBay, you can click here. If you want to hit subscribe and join the channel, we'd love for you to click here. Now, on to the surprise subscriber shout-out. Enjoy!